So we've written about the purpose of the CPU. Okay, let's go forward. Now, down on page, go to page 15 of your booklet. Okay, please write the title CPU summary in the space given. And complete the red writing, okay, what does this do? So write what does it do? And what it does is it manages the interactions between memory, storage, and applications. Pause the video and write that. Okay. Now what I want you to do, okay, is I want you to watch a video. Okay. And um, that video, um, if you're watching this will appear uh, in an email okay so maybe if I've emailed you there may be a shortcut but I will direct you to that okay so you've now watched the video hope you enjoyed it let's move on on page 15 under the writing that you you, you wrote before I had a new little title called clock speed so that's a subtitle okay the instructions, so what is a clock speed? Okay, the clock speed of the instructions it carries out, it's the speed of the processor, okay, uh, the instructions that it carries out in the space of time on a CPU. The more state changes, the faster it is. So if you had a one hertz processor, it would carry out one state change per second. If you had a one gigahertz processor, it would do a um, one it would do a billion state changes okay so the, there is a definite speed you can get four five six seven eight gig um, uh, processes these days and the faster it, it, it is or the higher the number the faster it will process or can process um, um, instructions so write as much that as can down as you can down particularly the red writing Subtitle underneath that cores. So the more cores in a processor means that you can carry out more instructions and more programs at the same time. Okay, each core can have a different job. Okay, so they're like different butlers. Okay, and you can buy one, two, or dual or quad core processors or octo core processors as well. Okay, and, and technically. The more processors, yeah, sorry, the more cores you have, the more efficient, the more jobs it can do, and potentially faster. <coughs> what I want you to do now is go and open the app. Okay, so how you do that is you um, pause the video and you go to the P drive. Okay, to this location. Let me show you where that is. Okay, so you go P drive, faculty, computing and business, computer science and ICT knowledge, hardware, press the H on your key, so hardware and computer components, 29 e, 2019 eWare app, and then open it up. There we go. Okay. So what this app is, okay, is it, it I mean, you, you can, it's basically a PowerPoint, okay? You can't change the phone background, okay? You can't change the phone background and some of the functionality, okay? You can change that if you want to, but I really don't want you to spend a lot of time on it. How does it work? Okay, so what we do is we go F5 or from beginning. And the phone is off. It's obviously pretend. The only way you can act, you can't move forward. I'm trying to click and right click. The only way you can turn it on is by turning it on here. Go to the eWare app. Okay, and this is what you get. And you get a menu and so on. Okay, you can turn it off at any time and turn it back on. Okay, please wait for video three. 